Hi everyone, welcome back to Odo Tutorial by Basam Infotech. Today I will help you understand about the documents module in Odo. So business can be big or small and needs documents to function. So this documents module will help you to save your time and money by going paperless. Alright, so here I am on my database. Now let's first open the documents application. Here you can see that the app structured by two key concepts, workspace and tags. Here the documents can be any type of files which is very convenient for us. So you will see that I have different workspaces on my left of the screen. I have internal workspace, finance, etc. Alright, I can go through the documents and view the documents only by just clicking on this thumbnail. So instead of each workspace, you can use tags to add another level of convenience. And tags are organized by category. So here uh, we have the categories like status, inbox, etc. So you can apply these to any documents. Alright, let's go ahead and click the document, which means select a document as shown here. And you can see on the right side of the screen the tags that you can make changes for the documents. For example, you can make the documents from to validate to validated and clear the to validate option like this. You can also view just the files with these specific tags. For that, at the left side of your screen, you will be able to see the tags. From there, if you select one among them, you will be able to see the specified tags file. Now, to preview the document, you don't have to download, but just click on the thumbnail of the documents. Alright, on the right side, you will also be able to manage different things with this side bus. First one is the chat box. Here, you will be able to send a message for those who follow these documents. And you can add log note and you can even schedule the activity. And you can see who and all are following this document. So you can communicate easily with your colleagues this way. There are some more options like downloading files, share. Uh, we can even share the person who is outside of a company and replace option so that we can update the files. And you can see here a lock option. Uh, by activating this, uh, it does not lock the files but it serves as a warning to your colleagues that uh, let them know that you are working on it and they shouldn't work on them. If your file has several pages, you can split your file with the split file options. And also we can archive the files and it will be hidden from the view, but don't worry, the file is safe. You can just click this filters, archive, and you will see the file here and you can just unarchive that like this. Okay, let's move on to create a new workspace. For that, configuration, workspaces, create, add name and parent workspace here. And you should note that all tags from parent workspace will apply to the sub workspace automatically. But you can set specific tags just for the sub workspace as well. For that, here you can see Add a line in creation of workspace page, then create tag categories, give name like this and add a, add a line like progress, draft, final, published. So tax order is essential because that is the order that they will appear in the app. You can also rearrange the order by dragging the mouse and even delete it. You can also add the tooltip here which is related to the tags. We can also modify the access rights. For that, uh, here you can see the read access and write access. You can add the companies or uh, individuals here. Likewise, you can create tags here in configuration, tags and create the details here. Thank you.